couple of weeks back we played at this uh, friend's wedding in Cochin. It was very pretty. It was on a beach. At this wedding, we worked out a set of like some 25 songs, and we're playing through our set. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden on the side, there's this uncle who comes with a plate, and he's like, "Play Hotel California." And I look at him and I'm like, "Sorry, uncle, don't know." And then he's like, "Oh, then play Have You Loved a Woman?" And I'm like, uh, "Sorry, uncle, don't know." And then he's like, "Okay, play Enrique Iglesias." Sorry, uncle, don't know. Okay. Hey, go, man! <laughs> and he just ran, walked up. Next thing we notice is on stage, we're looking at him. He's talking to the bridegroom, and he's pointing at us like, "What are these guys doing?" Yeah, they don't know any song. They don't know any band. What? What the hell is this guy? Was? Yeah, that's one story. We were asked to go right home now. once. So we couldn't find a good ending, right? Yeah, but then ultimately we were like mad orange trees, mad orange water. No, mad orange fire. I said mad orange fire. Then he's like, no, what? That doesn't work. I said mad orange fire works. Yeah. And he's like, hey, mad orange fire works. Ah, and then, then that just clicked in. That's the name. The <laughs> story number thirty-five that you come up. No, it's a true story. <laughs> we write songs. I mean, based on based, our journey as musicians. Yeah, like. So. Like at a particular times. point of time, you feel one way about something, and you try and express that through music, and uh, and then we all get together and we put it together and work on it, and if it makes sense, it becomes a song. But our most like known <coughs> song for others, like for listeners, for fans and stuff, who can identify one song with the band would probably be Shaking My Ground. Like that's for them. For us, it's yeah, that's diff- like we can't. Yeah. Shaking My Ground is like one song that. Uh, that's very simple and catchy and uh, easy to grasp onto. So in that sense, it's more commercially like acceptable. But uh, fan favorite. Yeah, I mean I think it is, but I'm not really and sure. I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody that ever comes and says you guys suck. Have you ever come across not that? Not really. So like, <clears throat> even like when a gig is over. People would feel one way about the show, and it's completely different from how we would feel about it. Like there are times when I felt really good about a gig where crowd was like whatever, and uh, there have been times when people outside have really enjoyed it, and we feel like shit. After a point, even we get really fed up of playing our own music in yeah. a, in one particular way. Yeah, that's pretty much the standard response. I try and heckle as much as I can. Like I diss other bands and stuff that I don't like. Like honestly, if I don't like your music, I'll say I don't like your music. But a lot of people don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> it would be welcome actually. Like come out and say, you know what, that song sucked. <laughs> Then at least we can work on it. <laughs> Basically, start finding people who want to put money into music. Because then we can sort of get them to put money into the right avenues. Uh, marketing, you know, creating platforms, uh, creating venues, creating uh, gigs, you know. But so I, I think this is wrong advice to give budding musicians. Man. No, I would say I that's okay. It's obviously work on your music. Yeah, but, that's number one. But don't discount this. It's important because not musicians are not doing that. Much. I mean, a lot of musicians, upcoming musicians, might not think that's very important, but it is. What's the score for my knowledge by us for tomorrow? Five minutes. Marriage. Oh God. This guy is getting married. Getting married. The other guy in the band is getting married. I hope that's not what's in store for Mad Orange Five. I hope. No, no. But <laughs> generally, that's what's coming up. <laughs>